Alright guys, so we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. The newest Dokkan Fest is here on Global Dokkan, and it is Pan. Now, Pan is a very, very strong unit. Um, I do think she's up there as one of the better TURs in the game, the Dokkan Fest TURs, along with like Ginyu um, and the new kid Goku on JP. I do think Pan is really, really strong. Um, to me, I think she has a pretty well-designed kit, right? She's got a bunch of unit super attacks. She could do a GT Trunks, Giro, and of course, GT Goku. Now, remember, um, her unit super attack with Goku, it has to be a GT Goku, like a kid Goku. It can't be Super Saiyan 4 Goku, but all they do is they just greatly stack attack instead of normal stack attack for her unit super attack, so it's not really the biggest deal there. Um... But the, the whole point of Pan is you're stacking her attack and then you're nuking with her active skill. Her active skill, you do have to have a GT Goku um, in rotation with her, right? So the, the condition is after Pan does five or more attacks in battle and then there is a GT hero Goku in the same turn. So Super Saiyan 4 Goku will activate Pan's active skill and it will also activate this part of Pan's passive, where Pan gets a guaranteed additional that's a high chance of being a super. If there's a GT hero category ally, Goku, Trunks, or Hero, right? Um, so really what Pan is, is she's kind of like an upgraded version of like blue Kaioken Goku uh, from way back in the day. Except Pan has 50% damage reduction um, before she attacks. So she could be pretty effective there. I like Pan a lot, but I think that we need stronger GT Gokus. Uh, that, to me, is the issue for Pan. Um, I think if, if it was a little bit more, like, comfortable running a GT Goku character right now, um, it, it would it, Pan would be stronger. That That's her major issue. So if we would get, like, some sort of Dokkan Fest baby saga Super Saiyan 4 Goku or something sometime soon, I think that could be a huge addition to Pan. Um, now, funny enough, I'm using Pan right here. Our opening rotation, we got the, the new Dokkan Fest Kid Goku. I do think Dokkan Fest Kid Goku will help Pan quite a bit. Number one, with his support member, he's giving 50% uh, attack and defense and the two key to Pan. But also, that little extra damage reduction he can get from his support, I think can really help out Pan, who already has 50% damage reduction before she attacks, right? 254k defense she starts out with. Pan's link set is Kamehameha, the Innocence, All in the Family, Saiyan Lineage, Battlefield Diva, GT, and Fierce Battle. Yeah, real bummer that Kid Goku doesn't have, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Saiyan Lineage. Kid Goku, unfortunately, does not have Saiyan Lineage, which, which does suck. Um, so Pan also gets 50% attack and defense when attacking, so she's gonna get quite a bit more defense after attacking right here. And Pan also does get, oh, only one attack right there, Pan, come on. Um, but she does also get 20% attack and defense up to a maximum of 100% with each attack performed. So once we do the five attacks for her and we're able to use her active skill, she'll also have her passive fully built up. Defensively, she can get to a pretty good level um, as long as she's not going to get hit like tight disadvantage or something like that. I, I think Pan can be fairly decent defensively, even in a lot of these red zone sages. Um, I was able to no item already the entire movie and GT Red Zones with her team, right? I, I did those videos, um, before the Worldwide Download Celebration had started. And Pan is good, but especially to me, she does struggle quite a bit against in-type bosses, for, for real, um, in the Red Zone. Um, I found that even, like, especially against, like, one of those, like, in-type bosses, even through her damage reduction, they can just hit Pan for so much damage like she could seriously just take so much damage from those powerful int type bosses right which definitely can sort of be a major concern there um so we're definitely going to want to stack up a little bit we're going to want to get pan to drop her active skill remember sort of the whole basis of this unit is to really like powerfully nuke with that active skill of hers which just can do so much damage right remember that's Pan's active skill is a thousand times better than Kid Goku's, right? But that's how these... Like, when you're one of these strong units that can stack your attack for a while and then drop the active skill, 
it really comes down like a, a freaking missile, man. Like, the, the bosses just get turned into silly putty. You can, like, kill uh, Red Zone EGL Broly, like, before he even does anything with Pan. Pan is that powerful, right? Um, 355k defense right there for her. And she still has to do four more attacks. And then remember, she gets 50% defense when attacking. So, uh, that's the thing. Like, Pan can be very good. And then we pop Kid Goku's support right there. And then now Pan is going to get that extra 8% uh, damage reduction on top of it to push her up to, what, 58% damage reduction. Pretty solid. Like, Pan is good. Right, Pan can do a lot of damage. I mean, I need one of these damn GT here. I brought a couple of GT hero allies. They started out in the other rotations than her. But, like, we get the uh, these GT hero characters next to Pan. Um, and she can start, you know, really, ra like, firing out rapid-fire super attacks. Um, and she'll be looking pretty good, right? So now... Now we'll have the double pan set up. Here we go. Th th this friend pan is only 69%. Um, if you plan on summoning for pan, um, if you plan on summoning for pan on global, keep in mind that pan to me is one of the more uh, difficult to find friend leads on the friend system. I mean, global, the, global's friend, like the friend system is the worst thing ever. And then global has like a further like glitch or bug on it that JP doesn't even have. There's the uh, um, uh, unit super with uh, Kid Goku right there, the GT Goku. But Global has an even further, like, broken friend system than JP does. So you guys know that, like, you, you summon for a character like Pan, you're probably not going to get very much use out of her, right? Um, what other categories is Pan on? So Pan is on... Oh, I, I guess we'll, we'll just pull up her categories and, and we'll go over it. Um... She's definitely an addition to some good teams. That's that's good. Like like teams that need help. But it's it's always good to see that. Okay, so our girl Pan, right? In terms of categories, she's on Bond of Friendship, Dragon Ball Seekers, GT Hero, Hybrid Saiyans, Goku Family, Youth, Space Traveling Warriors, Bond of Parent and Child, and Kamehameha. Um, those are all of her teams. So. She is on a good assortment of teams. I, I feel like Pan can be relevant even off of, like, the GT Hero team. She definitely is, like, like the main focus of using her, right? Uh, stacking up and then nuking with her active skill. I, I feel like that's, that's only possible with, like, a GT Hero Goku, right? And that's why, in order for Pan to be better, we just need... We need, like, a top 5, like, Super Saiyan 4 Goku in the game right now, right? Like, Pan's abilities can actually be activated by uh, LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta before they fuse, right? The Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta card. It can work, um, but remember, they're not on Pan's team. Pan's team is Bond of Friendship and Dragon Ball Seekers 170%, and then the extra 200% is to GT Hero uh, allies. So, any GT characters on Pan's team are getting 200%, but Goku and Vegeta, unfortunately, are not on there with the LR Super Saiyan Force. Okay, so let's go ahead. This is a ridiculously strong turn for Pan right here. Um, we have most of our links activated. We got a huge amount of support as well. 475 is what she's at. Okay. Um, we'll be able to get all of the orbs for Kid Goku too, right? So, like, Pan is going to, you know, she would have extra crit chance, extra damage reduction. Um, I, I do like Pan. I, I think Pan definitely can put in some good work right here. Uh, this rotation will be good too because we'll be able to see... Um, uh, the unit super attack uh, with uh, Trunks right here for this pan. Uh, and she's up to 7, was at 7.68. Now remember, on this rotation right here, uh, Pan actually did have the additionals. She was going to be able to utilize her additionals right there uh, because of the fact that we did, you know, finally have a GT hero unit next to her. Um, Alright, let me, um, let, let, let's just skip ahead to the next turn here. All right, let's have Pan continue to get a, a few more attacks right here. Um, I would like to get Pan to get that active skill with Goku, right? Be able to just do a ridiculous amount of damage. Now, Pan does work fairly well with the Trunks and Gyro banner unit. The only problem is, like, let's take a look at the links we have here. GT and Fierce Battle. Like, I don't know why they didn't make Trunks and Gyro, um, honestly, a bit stronger anyway. I, like, Trunks and Gyro are fine, but... 347k defense and that's it right they're, they're getting no extra defense when they attack or nothing um i feel like they could have made the trunks and gyro unit a lot better actually capable of taking hits in red zone style content 
I'm not asking for too much because look at Android 8. <laughs> Android 8, right? Could take double digits from like Cell Max. Like, I, I think it'd be okay if Trunks and Gear were a little bit better and a little bit more cohesive with Pan, too. That's another thing that hurt Pan, right? It's just her not getting the same type of love um, as, say, Captain Ginyu kind of dooms Pan as a release, right? I, they could still save her because I think her kid is very good. I think Pan is still very powerful, right? So it's not like she's, like, dead as a unit or something like that. But we do need another release to support her, for sure, right? Like, we, we have to get some sort of um, powerful character to show up that could really help Pan out. And that's, I think, a baby saga Super Saiyan 4 Goku would make sense. Um, and if you go through Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta... Neither of them, they don't have good animation characters in Dokkan besides the LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta unit. That's it. So, I do think we could still get a lot more, right? Um, okay, we'll do this. Let's just sort of see the damage that Pan could do on this turn right here. Um, we can give Goku that support right there. Uh, that, that support for Goku is actually going to be very helpful for this TN right here. That little bit of extra damage reduction can certainly help Tien. Oh, this is perfect. Okay. This is not the Rainbow Level 10 Link, you know, showcase pan. But this is a good example of how she can be, right? If if she's going to get supered right away, which I feel like most of the time if a boss is going to super attack, it is going to be in that first slot right there. If the boss does decide to do that, pan typically will be fine. Really big time red zone bosses. She could eat the super attack from them. Again, it's int red zone bosses where i've kind of had pan like just really eat shit when she's gotten like super attacked or attacked right away right it's been a huge issue um but for the most part pan does really do fairly well okay so we're gonna have the gt goku next to our pan on the next rotation did we only do four attacks or have we have we done the five we need to do for the active skill um, I think we might have only done four attacks because it took us several turns before we had a GT hero on rotation with her. Um, no, we can pop the active skill right here. This, this is a very good turn with Pan. This is kind of a, a bit of a sleeper character right here, this Goku. I mean, he's now, you know, what, like 15, 16 months old. But this EZA Goku, he's fairly decent next to Pan. They, they do share a couple of links, including... The really important ones for Pan, right? All in the family. Um, Saiyan lineage, right? And GT. Like, uh, those are Pan's three most important links, right? Because she's getting defense from all three, right? The rest of Pan's links are basically just attack. Except for Battlefield Diva, which gives a uh, key and dodge chance, right? So it's really helpful that this Goku is able to activate all of those. Um, So we're at 590k defense. So this is Pan... She's fully built up, right? We've done all of her attacks, and then she's still going to get that 50% when attacking. So you can see she's good, right? Like, she could get a huge amount of defense after attacking. It's like, if, if dude, I'm telling, I'm te listen, I'm, I am telling y'all, if they just give us a Super Saiyan 4 Goku, who's like a top five unit in the game contender, you know, one of the best TURs or a really strong LR, something like that, Pan will be fine, um, you know, because then the two of them could be disgusting together. Let's, let's just go ahead and pop uh, Pan's active skill right here. I don't see any reason not to. Um, and then we'll, we'll probably get a few more turns, right? Just sort of seeing her stack up her damage and stuff like that. Remember that with Pan, you know, sky is the limit. She's going to keep stacking and stacking and stacking throughout the fight. And just get stronger and stronger and stronger, right? So let's go ahead and pop her active skill. Again, you have to do five attacks and have a GT hero Goku in rotation. And then you could do this. Um, this does give Pan on both the active skill and for the remainder of the turn a 59% chance to crit. So not only is she nuking with the huge, you know, stacked attack she's built up over the fight, but then she has a 59% chance to crit too. Just a very, very, very strong ability. You gotta love that. I, that. That is a great KO screen right there. Her and Super Saiyan 4 Goku. But 
Uh, you can just have Pan stack up so much. She could do so much damage. Again, Pan can absolutely obliterate, like, Red Zone Broly. If you're talking about an AGL Red Zone boss, Pan will turn them inside out so fast, right? Some of the toughest bosses in the game, like Red Zone Metal Cooler, Pan could absolutely shit on them with the amount of damage she potentially can do. If she gets, like, a triple super, she's able to drop that active skill. Her damage is crazy. Um, let's get another turn or two. Pan is very, very good. She just needs help. I, I think the way her kit is designed and stuff like that is probably fine. Um, but it's just, like, she needs help, right? Like, it, it's if they drop a character, like... Majin Vegeta or something like that like there's typically going to be like a lot of options to utilize with that character I guess Majin Vegeta is probably a bad example because he needs a trunks right but like I don't know like Super Saiyan 3 Goku or you know a Gogeta character or something like you just have an infinite sea of help for that character to have but a lot of the Dokkan Fest Dokkan has dropped this year Ginyu Raditz Kid Goku right it's like Dokkan just needs to do more to support those characters right like, Dokkan, you can't fumble um, releases with these characters, right? Like, you know, like, th this Trunks and Giru should have been a hundred times... There's no excuse for Trunks and Giru, man. They should have been way better um, to really help Pan out, right? Because Pan is, is easily a above Red Zone level character who can destroy in these Red Zone stages. But Trunks and Giru in many of these stages are very fraudulent. Like, they'll just get crushed. Right? Like, yeah, it's cool that they can give the 70% support to Pan, but they get obliterated, and they don't even activate a lot of her links. It's just, you know, Pan needs help, and so far she hasn't really gotten all the help she needs. All right, we got a pretty good turn for our girl Pan right here. Let's see the damage that she wants to put up for us. 571k defense right there. Again, so she'll have 50% damage reduction uh, before she attacks. Then after she attacks she gets the 50% defense when attacking, right? So, pretty solid. Um, let me know what you guys think um, of Dokkan Fest Pan right here. I, again, I think her strength is fine. 8.2 is what we're at right here. Her, her strength is fine, but they just didn't give her enough help. I think the same thing about Kid Goku. I think the same thing about Raditz, right? This is a problem that they're doing with these, like, sort of, like, lower hyper... Videl, to Dokkan Fest Videl didn't get enough help when they dropped her. Like, they're releasing... I, um, besides Raditz, I think Kid Goku, Pan, Videl, Ginyu, these characters are all strong enough. You know, they, if they're going to drop these, like, you know, like, less hype Dokkan Fest, they do have to make them ridiculous. Videl's aged out by now, but she was very busted on release. I think she was more than powerful enough on release. Obviously, same with Ginyu and, and Pan and Kid Goku, right? They're not the problem, though. The problem is that they have to also drop stuff with the character to actually give them help. Remember Videl dropped and they released the Gifted Warrior Support Goten, right? Like the character they dropped wasn't even a character that buffed Videl. It was a character that was buffing like the Dokkan Fest Trunks and Goten that had released earlier. So bizarre, right? So like that's just something I think Dokkan has to improve upon um, in the future is if you're going to do these like you know, lower hype Dokkan Fest, which they do need to continue to do. Like, they, you know, they got to give Dokkan Fest to all these types of characters. Okay, so this plan is up to 11.5 right there. Not bad. Uh, on this, I mean, this is a crazy rotation, right? We got uh, Pan, we got the, the Dokkan Fest Kid Goku, and we got the Trunks and Giru. So we're getting just a huge amount of support along with all the attack stack uh, stacks and stuff like that that we've gotten. But we just got to continue to drop... Like, not, like, one busted character, but, like, one busted character and then a couple of units that will help that character be able to dominate, be very powerful, look really good, all that good stuff, right? Super important. All right, let's go ahead and pop uh, B-Pan's active skill right here. Um, we'll probably make this the last turn. We've seen how Pan can put up, you know, very high damage numbers. She could do crazy damage. Let's just hope that they give Pan the help she needs before she ages out as a character. And I think they will. I, I think Pan will probably be fine. Super Saiyan 4 Goku is a very hyped character. All they got to do is just drop a powerful Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Pan will be in business, right? So, let me know what you guys think of Dokkan Fest Pan. Good luck if you guys are summoning for her on Global. Um, and I will catch you guys next time.